Good morning. Welcome to a very wet Ambleside. So I'm having a easy-ish day today. I did a long coast run yesterday. Um, today is going to be a nice walk, maybe a little bit of running um, up Wansfell Pike and Baystones. very busy in Ambleside considering the weather um, yeah, plenty of people about so I've already got my waterproofs on yesterday I ripped my pants and they're filthy I was going to wash them but the drying room at the hostel doesn't really dry anything so I'll just leave them Maybe the dirt will dry and brush off. Although they'll probably, it'll probably wash off in the rain today. We shall see. So yeah, I've just decided to drive over from Coniston to Ambleside. I want an easy-ish day, so Wansfell Pike and Bay Stones should hopefully be quite an easy one and it'll just tick one on its own off the list. May as well while I'm up here. Starting with a big hill. Um, it was supposed to be a nice day today. It was supposed to be dry. Um, a little bit of cloud. And as I was driving over from Coniston, you could see all of the peaks. Can't see anything now. I tell a lie, I can just about see Wansfell Pike ahead. I'm going to just have a nosy at the waterfalls on my way up. Stockgill Falls, I think this is. know how far up the trail goes. Just keep going. I think this is where the trail goes. Just stops here. Nice little detour takes me off the monotony of the road.
Lonsfell Pike, half a mile. So I'll be hitting Lonsfell Pike first, which isn't the actual Wainwright. Base Stones is the Wainwright. And by the looks of the map, it's quite boggy to get across to Base Stones. It's a long time since um, I've been up here, probably 15 years. Um, apart from this section that I'm on now, on the climb to Wansfell Pike, I came down here um, on the lap um, about 18 months ago, so I recognise bits of this. Very quiet, no one else around. And it's stopped raining, so I'm getting quite hot. Clouds clearing a bit now, looking lovely. Um, I've just delayed because I'm really hot. It's still drizzling a little, but I'll just put up with it for now. What an amazing sight. <sighs> Gotta be close to the pint now. It's only a short one this, but it's just relentless. <sighs> Views behind me are amazing. So glad I made the effort to come out today. Now this is Wansfell Pike, but it's not the actual Wainwright. The Wainwright is based on which is down there somewhere. I'm gonna just have a minute, take a few photographs, and then head off. Oh, amazing view over Windermere. Right, let's crack on to base stones. Definitely boggy. dilemma how do I get past this don't mind getting my feet wet I just don't want to disappear let's go back down here
So the one with the cairn I thought was Bay Stones wasn't. It's actually a little bit further along. You have to cross a wall, um, which is a bit of a pain. There's no style, so you have to go all the way down to the bottom to come back up. Um, and then, yes, I am just getting to the top of Bay Stones now. It's very indistinct and there's nobody about. Um, but yes, Bay Stones. Right, now I've got to head back to the Kern um, and then take the path down to Troutbeck from there. Hopefully, ooh, <laughs> nearly then. I was gonna say, hopefully the paths are not as muddy. Right, there's the Kern, and I'm heading down this way. I'm on Nanny Lane now. Thankfully, a proper track rather than a boggy mess. What was it I've just said? take back everything I've just said. <sighs> Dropping down into trout back now. Sorry, I'm just eating a sausage roll as I go. <laughs> um, can see the Lakeland 50 route ahead. Eating a sausage roll, negotiating this and talking on camera. I was multitasking. <laughs> Certainly as steep going downhill as it was going up. Ooh, sun's 
to come out now. Just heading into Troutbeck village. I think I'm about just over halfway through the route today. Um, I've got about another three miles or so to get back to Ambleside. Hopefully relatively flat. too soon we're heading up I need to keep quiet I'm both side one and a quarter miles I recognize this last couple of miles from um, the Lakeland 50 so no wonder I'm finding it tough so I'm presuming the Lakeland 50 route will be the one that takes me all the way into Ambleside. <laughs> Stunning views over Windermere. Not far now. To Ambleside now. Last little bit. Really need to get the foam roller on the legs tonight. My quads are battered. And I'm back in Ambleside. Right, back at the car. Um, eight and a quarter miles. I um, really enjoyed that. I was going to do an out and back route, but it would have been over within a couple of hours. Um, and it would have been a bit boring so that was a lovely loop um, really enjoyed that so that's another way I'm right off round two um, I'm up to 23 now already um, so yeah whizzing through right thank you for watching and I'll see you soon <laughs>